And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create an isometric grid. We can simply render that, so there's another extension for it. Extensions render grids and isometric grids. Let me put the menu right here and I'll check the live preview. If you apply it, it will simply be rendered and treated as a regular object. Let us go over that menu and we will talk about the parameters in it a little bit more. So in general, we've got three major, let's say, levels of divisions. The first one is created by the X and Y divisions. So if I, for example, make that 5-5, you can see now the width has gotten smaller. Let me make that 20 and you can see the width gets wider. And when you adjust the Y division, obviously the height gets bigger or smaller. The division spacing determines the distance between the X and Y divisions. So these are the three parameters that determine the overall size of it. And we've got two levels of subdivisions. So the subdivisions per Maya divisions and also the subdivisions per subdivision. And I think it becomes more clear what all of that is if I play around with the next parameters, which is the thickness of these divisions. Let me increase the thickness of the Maya divisions. So right now it's set to one pixel. And if I increase that to like 10, So you can see this is what we've created with these first parameters. And if we go down to the next level of divisions, let me set that back to one pixel here first. And now I go to the minor divisions. Right now it's set to 0 0.5. And if I increase that once again to 10, you will get the next level of divisions. And we've got a third level as well, as I've said. And once again, if I increase it, let's say to five pixels, here we've got the next level. We've also got a thickness for the border, which is self-explanatory. Normally you would just keep the thickness and make the grid way bigger than you actually need it. And then you can just fill it out, use the Bezier tool, whatever you want to use. And then just select it and delete the grid afterwards when you don't need it anymore. You can size it up manually by holding control and using the cursor tool. And this is how you can create an isometric grid in Inkscape. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.